For each of the following molecules, would you expect greater solubility in water or in hexane? So water is a very polar solvent um, because of it has hydrogen bonding, whereas hexane is just carbons and hydrogens, so it is nonpolar. Um, so a good thing to remember is that like dissolves like, so polar compounds dissolve in polar solvents and nonpolar compounds dissolve in nonpolar solvents. So to determine whether uh, a compound is going to be soluble in water or in hexanes, all you need to do is determine the polarity of each compound. You just need to determine if it's polar or nonpolar. Uh, so in this case we have, this is glucose. Um, so glucose has one, two, three, four, five OH bonds. So five hydrogen bonding spots on it. Um, so it's going to want a hydrogen bond with water. So meaning that it is polar, so it will have greater solubility in a polar solvent, such as water. Uh, this is naphthalene, so this uh, compound consists only of carbons and hydrogens, just like hexanes does. Uh, so which means that hexanes is a nonpolar solvent, this is a very nonpolar molecule, because it's just carbons and hydrogens, so it will have a greater solubility in hexanes. Ethylamine here has two NH bonds. Um, even though it has two, a CH3 and a CH2, which are nonpolar, the NH2 um, determines its polarity. So that means that it is a polar compound. So it will dissolve in uh, water more than it will dissolve in heptanes. Uh, so then the last one is alanine, which is an amino acid. Um, so it has NH2, and it also has OH, so it is already hydrogen bonding on its own. Um, so that makes it a polar molecule, so it will be more soluble in polar solvents like water than it would be in he hexanes.